What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be picking up a monster blue and yellow cod. So my buddy actually is going away to college and he has this massive fish tank. I've actually filmed there before. Oh my, so I couldn't fast. even pick that up. So, wow. Absolutely munched this. Blue and yellow card for you. Blue and yellow card. Oh, oh. oh. Which one got it? Yeah. Oh, the snapper got it. Yep. Yeah. No, I'm scared. You think he'll bite it? Yeah, you gotta put it in. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not. He's not gonna bite. Do it for the video. Do it for the video. Oh, for the video. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Are these live? Yeah, we hired a professional for this. Bro, I gotta grab a live shrimp? Yes. Will please. I get bit? You're like, a professional. Come will on. it sting me, bro? No. Will I get stung? <laughs> will I just grab one? It's a shrimp. All right, John, you gotta grab one oh first. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't trying to get eight, man. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Oh. oh. Man, they broke his neck. Oh, my God. Oh. He's done. He's done. Okay, he's done. Watch this. John, watch. No. Watch this. Wait, hold on. Dude. Oh, he's on the panther. Dude. Dude, why won't they eat him? What's gonna happen? Why won't they eat him? Oh. Nope. Oh. <laughs> we did a feeding with like live shrimp on all his fish, and actually the same fish was there, but it was like this big at the time. Now apparently it's huge and he needs to rehome it because he's in school right now and he doesn't have time for the fish anymore. So today we are gonna go over, net this thing out of his aquarium, see all his fish, and then bring it home for our saltwater pool pond. Got the cooler in the car, also got the nets right there. This is gonna be an adventure. We gotta get this big old fish. This thing is apparently huge. The last time I saw this fish was probably about like eight months ago and he was just a little baby. So I don't know how big exactly he got, but we're gonna find out here soon. And I'm pretty excited. This is gonna be epic. And we are here. We're about to head in. Henry's right over there. We are gonna see how big this fish is. All right, unfortunately, we can't turn on the lights, but um, that is him right there. And he, holy cow. Okay, he's grown a lot since we last saw him. I was telling them how we fed him like when he was like this big. And yeah, a couple months later, that thing is a monster. We're gonna get him out though. We gotta get some nets ready and some water into the cooler. And then he's going in. Honestly, I really wish you guys can see, but this bumblebee grouper right here in his tank, three times the size of ours. Literally, the head on this thing is huge. I don't know though. It could be about the same size. I can't really tell because he's in a fish tank. But the blue and yellow cod over here. Oh, look at it. Look at it compared to my hand. That is insane. Getting the buckets all filled up and then we're gonna bring them over to the cooler, fill that up, and then once that's done, it is time to net these big old fish. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing right there. All right, so the audio went out on the footage, but the nets we had were not that big, so we had to work with what we had and it was just crazy, as you can see right here. Henry just netted him and we are now running out of the house to put him into the cooler. And boom, we got him in the cooler, got the aerators all hooked up on him, and we should be good to go. Got the blue and yellow cod in the back seat. It's in the cooler. We got aerators on him. He is good to go, but we are gonna head home now. It's about a 10 minute drive, so it's not too long. And then we're getting this guy in the saltwater pond. We're back home. We got the pool pond right here. And for snappers doing amazing. Now the only concern when adding this fish is if he's gonna get along with the other fish. He should just because he's been, a he's been around a bumblebee grouper and an emperor snapper before and he's grown up with fish his whole life but he did outgrow that tank as you saw so now he's going in here and then eventually from here he's going to go into the new pool pond with all the other fish we do have to get this guy acclimated there's my hand compared to him so as you can see that thing is massive we got the drip line right here we're going to get water from the pond going into the cooler and then we should be good to go all right so we got the blue and yellow cod out i actually moved him into the 200 gallon now and the Emperor Snapper, he's doing a lot better. I'm trying to get him, stop moving, buddy. But look at him. They're both really feisty now. But I got some food right here. We're gonna feed them. Oh, they are mad. Oh. Look at this thing. That is a baby version of what we just got, actually. That is literally like a mini version, and they get huge. Come on, who wants it? Where's the Panther? Some of the fish are hiding in the rocks. You got the panther back there. You see the panther? Oh! Oh, Emperor. Got it. He's getting big really, really fast. Just watch that fish. One of them are gonna blow up on it. Oh, Emperor. Oh. And he's gonna munch that. Look at how big he's gotten. Oh, oh, oh. 
He doesn't see it. He doesn't see the fish floating on top of him. Oh, now he sees it. And gone. Just like that. That thing is getting really, really aggressive. All right, it's time to add this massive blue and yellow cod. I need some names right now. Drop some names down below. This fish is going to be a big part of the channel for sure. So, yeah, we definitely need some names. Well, I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. I think the best way to do it is probably just dump the whole cooler into the pond. This is my buddy's water, so I do trust it. I think that's the best way, less stressful on the fish. And I don't have a net big enough, so I think that's what we're gonna do. No, we're not, because I can't pick up this cooler. <laughs> so what we're gonna do here, oh my God. If I can get a picture of this thing. This, all right, this is not a fish to mess around with, seriously. Holy cow. Look at the size of that fish. Look at the size of that fish. Here he goes. That thing is huge. Holy <laughs> cow. He doesn't even fit in that cave. So yeah, as you guys know, I am getting a monster pool pond. It's actually gonna be set up in the next week. So all these fish are gonna be moving from this pool pond into a monster sized one. That is like four times the size of this one. So they're not gonna be in here forever. As you can see, he doesn't even fit in that cave. But this is a lot larger than what he was in before. I think he was in like a 300 gallon. This thing holds about 500 to 700 gallons, depending on how much it's filled up. So he should be all right in here till the new pool pond is set up all the fish in here. Blue and yellow cod is doing good. He is in the pond and he's actually in the cave right now. I'm gonna turn off the lights, give him a couple hours to adjust to the pond, and then I'll pick the camera back up. A few moments later. It is a couple hours later. He's still getting a little adjusted to the pond, but as you can see, he's facing now towards like us. Before he was like in the rocks, kind of all skittish. He's now facing out of the cave. Oh. Oh my gosh, look at how big he is. I don't want to bother him too much. I want to get him used to this pond so I can train him to hand feed and everything and get him used to me. He is getting along with the Emperor Snapper and Bumblebee. So that's good news. But other than that, I am so excited for the future plans I have with these fish. Doing a bunch of feedings, live feedings. It's going to be absolutely epic. I plan on like cast setting a whole bunch of mullet and then bringing them back to the pond when we have when we have the new pond and doing a live feeding. I think that would be pretty epic. If you guys want to see that, give this video a like. I need you guys to drop some names right now for this guy he's gonna be a big part of the channel for sure doing some crazy feedings a bunch yeah it's gonna be epic i need you guys to drop a bunch of names right now also new pool pond should be set up by next week and all those videos are gonna be dropping so make sure you guys are subscribed and you have your post notifications on so you do not miss out on any of those videos because they are gonna be pretty epic we're gonna show you how the pool pond set up transferring the fish moving them out of this pond putting them into the new pond paul's gonna be there tommy's gonna be there we're gonna have a lot of people there it's gonna be a dope time if you did enjoy this video make sure you give it a thumbs up comment down below some names for our new fish and with that being said we'll see you in the next one see ya